Good morning, students. And we will start the dual nature of matter and radiation. New lesson, we will start. We will do some problems. Already synopsis we explained. We will do some problems in this. See the first question. The minimum intensity of light to be detected by human eye is 10 power minus 10. This B is not there. So 10 power minus 10. Uh, this is not there. Uh, watt per meter square. The number of photons of wavelength 5.6 into 10 power minus 7 meter entering the eye with pupil area 10 power minus 6 meter square per second for vision will be nearly. So number of photons per unit time is how much they are asking. So what is the given quantities if you check? I value will be equal to 10 power minus 10 watt per meter square. Wavelength of the light will be 5.6 into 10 power minus 7 meter. Area will be 10 power minus 6 meter square. Number of photons per unit time is how much they are asking. Okay, what is the intensity formula means energy emitted per unit area per unit time is called intensity. So here N photons are incident in NE by A into T. This N by T we have to calculate. E value will be equal to HC by lambda. So N by T, write separately. E value HC by lambda into A. So N by T is equal to I lambda A by HC. All the values are given just you substitute. Mm, intensity they give 10 power minus 10. Wavelength 5.6 into 10 power minus 7. Area 10 power minus 6. H value 6.6 into 10 power minus 34. C value velocity of light 3 into 10 power 8. If we calculate this one, this value will come as 300. So, answer for this question will be 300. See the next question. A 200 watt sodium street lamp emits yellow light of wavelength 0 0.6 micrometer. <coughs> wavelength of the light. 0 0.6 into 10 power minus 6 meter means 6 into 10 power minus 7 meter. 25% of the uh, efficient is converting electrical energy to light. Number of photons coming will be how much? Power how much they gave is 200 watt. Okay, in this only 25% of the incidenting light is converting into energy. So, number of photons per unit time is how much? Now, here only 25% only converting. So, 25 P by 100 P is equal to energy by time. So, this value. NE by T, N into HC by T into lambda. E place we wrote HC by lambda. This is 0, uh, 0 0.25 P into lambda by HC is equal to N by T. 
all values you know just you substitute m by t is equal to 0 0.25 t value 200 <coughs> lambda value 6 into 10 power minus 7 h value 6.6 into 10 power minus 34 c value 3 into 10 power 8 if we calculate finally answer will be 1.5 into 10 power 20 we will get so this is the answer for it see the third question on making ultraviolet light of energy 6.2 electron volt incident on aluminium surface faster photoelectrons are emitted if the work function of aluminium surface is 4.2 electron volt then the kinetic energy of these fastest electrons so what is the photoelectric equation E is equal to W plus K. This value 6.2. This is 4.2 plus K. Then K is equal to 2 electron volt. Electron volt means 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules. So 3.2 into 10 power minus 19 joules. So third question, first option. Next, see the fourth, fifth question. A silver ball of radius 4.8 centimeter. You see here a ball is there. What is its radius? They mentioned it is suspended. A ball is suspended by a thread in the vacuum. UV light of wavelength 200 nanometer is incident on the ball for some time during which a total energy of 10 power minus 7 joules falls on the surface. Assuming an average 1 out of 10 power 3 photons incident is able to eject an electron, potential on the surface will be how much? First, we will calculate how many photons are incident. Uh, basing on that, we will calculate the um, potential of the sphere. So what is the question here? There is a sphere, some radius is there it is having. On this, how much energy of photons are incidenting means 10 power minus 7. With that energy, some number of photons are incidenting. We don't know that number. By in this total number, out of 10 power three electrons, one electron is producing, or 10 power three photons, one electron is produced. First find the number of photons. So here E value will be equal to N into HC by lambda. So here E value is 10 power minus seven N H value 6.6 6 into 10 power minus 34. C value 3 into 10 power 8 by lambda value 200 nanometer, 200 into 10 power minus 9. If we calculate N value here, it will come as 10 power 11. So this is the number of photons. 10 power 3 photons will produce one electron. Uh, then here, um, how many photons are incidenting which? 10 power 11. So number of electrons.
released is equal to 10 power 11 by 10 power 3. So this value will be equal to 10 power 8. Then charge. These electrons will produce charge. And this is n into e n dash, like that I'm assuming. This is 10 power 8 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. 1.6 into 10 power 11. That much electrons are came, came out means it will have a positive charge. Na? Then what is its potential? V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. This 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught value 9 into 10 power 9. Q value 1.6 into 10 power minus 11. Radius they gave it as 4.8 centimeter. 4.8 into 10 power minus 2. So if we calculate this value, this is equal to 3 volt. Simply 1.63 times 3, 3 times will cancel. 10 power minus 2, 10 power minus 2. This is equal to 3 volt. Answer for this will be 3 volt. Clear? Next. A photon of energy, capital E, a photon of energy, capital E, ejects a photoelectron from a metal surface whose work function is W0. If this electron enters into a uniform magnetic field B in a direction perpendicular to the field and it describes the uh, circular path of radius um, R, the radius R is how much? In a simple question. Photoelectric effect already you know. On a metal surface, if light is incident, electrons will come out. Here we created the magnetic field. Then the emitted electron, what happened in that magnetic field, it turns into the circular path. Uh, what is the radius of that circular path? What is actually, what is the radius of the uh, charged particle in a magnetic field? R is equal to mv by vq. Okay. We will find V value first using photoelectric equation and we will substitute there. We will get the answer from photoelectric equation E is equal to W plus K. Here E value is capital E, they give work function value, they give W naught. So E is equal to W naught plus half mv square. So E minus W naught is equal to half mv square. Then V value will be 2 into E minus W naught by em. We'll substitute this value there. This value will substitute here, substituting and substituting 2 in 1, R is equal to M by PQ. V value 2 into E minus W by M. So if you rearrange the term, this M also if you take inside, so this value 2M E minus W naught divided by BQ. I think in the place of charge they give E. So instead of Q electron, you take it as a small E. 2M into E minus W naught 
by B. So this is the answer for it. Okay. See the next question what they are asking me. A photosensitive metal of a metal surface has work function Y. Photosensitive metal is having work function Y. Photons of energy 3 pi falls on the surface. Electrons comes with a velocity of 6 into 10 power 6. E is equal to W plus KE formula. Here 3 pi is incident in work function will be pi KE 1 I am assuming KE 1 is equal to 2 pi. Similarly, 9 pi is incident in it. Pi is work function is constant. Then K2 is equal to how much? 8 pi. K1 by K2 is equal to 1 by 4. K1 is half M V1 square. K2 half M V2 square. 1 by 4. So V2 square is 4 V1 square. V2 is equal to 2 V1. V1 how much they gave here? 6 into 10 power 6. So 2 into 6 into 10 power 6. 12 into 10 power 6 meter per second. So this is the answer for it. Okay. See the next question. Stopping potential for the photoelectrons emitted from a metal surface of work function 1.7 electron volt is 10.4 electron volt. Identify the energy levels of a hydrogen atom, which will result in the emission of wavelength equal to the incident radiation for the above photoelectric effect. My incident energy formula W plus K. W value will be 1.7. K value 10.4. For electron volt, stopping potential is 10.4 volt means kinetic energy will be 10.4 electron volt. So this value will be 12.1 electron volt. That is the energy. This energy is equal to when electron jumps from one energy level to another energy level. From where to where it is jumping? N is equal to 1 minus 13.6 electron volt. N is equal to 2 minus 3.4 electron volt. N is equal to 3, 1.51 electron volt. So this jumping will happen from minus um, N is equal to 3 to 1. Minus 1.51 minus of minus 13.6 means this will be 12.1 electron volt. Therefore, electron is jumping from n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 1. This is the option for it. Next, see the ninth question, what they are asking me. Light of wavelength 2475 angstrom unit is incident on the barium photoelectrons emitted. It describes a circular of radius 100 centimeter by a magnetic field of flux density 1 by root 17 into 10 power minus 7, 5 tesla. Work function of the barium is how much? Same uh, kinetic energy formula we will take. 
uh, radius will be mv by pq kinetic energy of the electron in the magnetic field ke of electron in magnetic field understanding same model we did above there we considered the radius here we are considering the uh, this uh, kinetic energy b square q square r square by 2m electron na take it as e so b square value this is b value na this is b so b square how much 1 by 17 into 10 power minus 10 okay uh minus 5 whole square na radius how much they give you 100 cm means 1 meter i am writing radius here 1 square and here in the denominator 2 is there okay and b square completed r square 2 e completed e by m into e will be there e by m value they gave 1.7 into 10 power 11 so if you keep one e here then answer will comes in electron volt okay so if we calculate this one finally this will be 0.5 electron volt one m at e square by m is there One e by m value they mentioned here, one point seven into ten power eleven. I am keeping one e here, so automatically answer will be in electron volt, zero point five electron volt. What is the incident wavelength? This one find the incident energy. E is equal to twelve thousand four hundred by lambda. Twelve thousand four hundred. This value two four seven five. If we calculate this one, this will be five electron volt. What is the formula? E is equal to W plus K. Five is equal to W plus K. We got zero point five electron volt. So W is equal to 4.5 electron volt this is the answer for it see the next question when a light of wavelength 300 meters falls on a photoelectric emitter photo electrons are emit liberated for another emitted light of wavelength 600 nanometer is incident ratio of the work functions for them is work function formula w is equal to hc by lambda okay uh, that is the formula for work function w is equal to hc by lambda w1 by w2 is equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1 This is six hundred nanometer. This is three hundred nanometer. W one. Mm, then uh, ratio of their work function for me na. This is equal to two by one. I mean here what will happen means E is equal to W plus K. K will be zero. This is equal to zero. Why zero? Just liberating, na. So no kinetic energy. E is equal to W. From that we get uh, W one by W two is equal to lambda two by lambda one. See the next question. When momentum of a photon is changed by an amount of delta p. Corresponding change in the de Broglie wavelength is found to be zero point two five percent. Original momentum will be so lambda is equal to h by p. So delta lambda by lambda is equal to delta p by p. 
डेल्टा लैमडा बाई लैमडा विल बी जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव बाई हंड्रेड डेल्टा पी चेंज इन द मोमेंटम दे गिव इज पी नॉट दिस पी वैल्यू हाउ मच ओके सो जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव मीन वन बाई फोर ना सो वन बाई फोर हंड्रेड both are not P naught. And this will be P. We have to find P naught by P. P is equal to four hundred P naught. This is the answer for it. Next, an electron of mass m and a photon having and a photon both will have the same energy. What is the ratio of de Broglie wavelengths associated with them? First, we will find for electron. For electron, energy value is equal to p square by two m. P is equal to h by lambda h square by two m. Lambda square. This is the electron. They are having a ratio of the de Broglie wave. Lambda e square is equal to h square by two m e. So lambda e is equal to h by square root of two. Let it be equation one. Next for photon. Lambda p is equal to h by m c. Lambda p by lambda e is how much they are asking? So h by m c. This will reverse as two m e by h. H h will cancel. So one by c into root of two e by m. Okay. So one by c e by two m power one by two. So this is the answer for it. See the next question. Electron and photon uh, possess the same de Broglie wavelength. Electron and proton possess the same de Broglie, de Broglie wavelength. E P E E are the energies of electron and photon. And E E by E P will be how much? So um, photon, if we write. Lambda p is equal to h by momentum of photon. Lambda e is equal to h by momentum of electron. Okay, these two are same na. Given lambda p is equal to lambda e h by momentum of Photon is equal to h by momentum of electron. So again, their momentums will be same, uh, and their energies they are asking will do one thing. Using H by lambda p is equal to m v for photon. H c by lambda p, if I write both sides, c I am multiplying. This is lambda is equal to h by v uh, h by m v formula. Uh, both this side I multiplied with c. This side also I am multiplying with c. Okay. 
I'm writing little bit modifying like this half mv square. Also, v by 2 I multiplied extra. Also, this value will be c is there already. c into 2 by v. 2, 2 will cancel, v, v will cancel. Again, it becomes mcv only. Just to write that in terms of. Uh, energies. This will be energy of photon. This will be energy of electron into 2C by V. They are asking e, e by Ep is how much? This value will be V by 2C. So this is the answer for it. Next question, what they are asking, see, photon and electron have the same de Broglie wavelength, which will have more energy means electron will have more energy than photon. Okay, we can calculate and prove, no need for all of that, just remember it as a theory question, electron will have more energy, okay. Next 17. De Broglie wavelengths of the waves, wavelengths of the alpha particle to that of a proton being subjected to the same magnetic field so that radii of their paths are equal to each other, assuming the field induction vector B bar is perpendicular to the velocity vector of the alpha particle and the photon will be how much? So, de Broglie wavelength of the alpha particle and proton is how much? That is the question. So, uh, if these uh, radius of the charged particle in the magnetic field, what is the formula? R is equal to mv by bq. So, mv is equal to bqr wavelength formula lambda is equal to h by mv h by bqr okay here alpha part so only charge only remaining b constant r constant uh, radii of the paths are same they mentioned same magnetic field they mentioned so B constant, R constant, H already constant, lambda proportional to 1 by Q. So lambda of alpha particle by lambda of proton uh, is equal to charge of the proton by charge of the alpha particle. Charge for this will be E, for this will be 2E, this will be equal to 1 by 2. Next. A metallic surface is illuminated by a light of wavelength, light of given intensity and frequency to cause photo emission. Intensity is reduced to 1 fourth. Maximum kinetic energy. Ke is independent on intensity. So it remains unchanged. Okay. Next question. Light of two different frequencies. Having photo, have a, whose photons having energies 1 and 2.5 electron volt respectively successfully illuminate a metal whose work function is 0 0.5 E is equal to W plus K. Here 1, this is 0 0.5, this is KE1. Ke1 is equal to how much? 0.5 electron volt. Next case, 2.5 is equal to 0 0.5 plus Ke2. Ke2 is equal to 2 electron volt. Ke1 by Ke2, if we do, 
0.5 by 2. This is equal to 1 by 4. This is half m v1 square by half m v2 square is equal to 1 by 4. v1 by v2 is equal to 1 by 2. So this is the answer for it. See the next question. Kinetic energy of an electron is E when the incident wavelength is lambda. To increase the kinetic energy of the electron to 2E, incident wavelength will be how much? Okay. Uh, so here, your work energy theorem only. Um, actually here, E is equal to W plus K. This is HC by lambda W. This kinetic energy they gave it as G. So W is equal to HC by lambda minus E not W G. In case one. Incident energy W is equal W constant only HC by lambda minus E. In case two, W will remain as the same only. How much wavelength we should increase to increase the kinetic energy to 2E? Wavelengths are equal, you equate this to HC by lambda minus E. HC by lambda dash minus 2e. Bring this 2e to that side. Then uh, HC by lambda dash is equal to HC by lambda plus e. HC plus e lambda by lambda. Lambda dash we need. HC lambda by E lambda plus HC. HC lambda plus E lambda plus HC. This is the answer for it. Next. 24, what they are asking, see. Threshold frequency is given. Light of frequency 2 nu naught is incident. Maximum velocity of the electrons is there. If for a simple problem only. So uh, here H nu is equal to H nu naught plus half m v square. Initially H into 2 nu naught. This is H nu naught plus half m into 4 into 10 power 6 whole square. Then H nu naught is equal to half m into 4 into 10 power 6 whole square. Second case, what will happen in second case? Phi nu naught is equal to H nu naught plus half m into V square. Now bring this one to the side. So 4 H nu naught is equal to half m V square. Divide this two, then One by two, if you divide H nu naught, H nu naught will cancel and one by four. Half M's will cancel. Four into 10 power six whole square by V square. So one by two is equal to four into 10 power six by V. Then V is equal to 
एट इंटू टेन पवर सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज द आंसर फॉर इट ओके विल स्टॉप नो एन फोर रिमेनिंग वन आर टू प्रॉब्लम्स आर देर यू ट्राई टू डू एंड विल स्टॉप दिस सेशन ओके